waffles, maple syrup and crispy bacon. It's such an American thing. Ben, you're going to do this, but you're going to put a bit of a twist on it. You always do weird and wonderful yeah, combinations. You're using pork belly. Yeah, so we're using pork belly today and candying it. And we're also going to place them on waffles. God, that is so rich and naughty. <laughs> All right, what do we do? Well, I'm going to get started. So we might get you to halve some of the apples and then just sure. finally slice them. Ben, where do you get all your inspiration for these weird and wonderful flavour combinations? Um, to be honest, I just pick an ingredient I really want to work with and yep. do a whole lot of research into everything that pairs really well. And then it's just pretty much trial and error from there. Coming off MasterChef, you and I both know that's where our brains are put yeah, to the exactly. test when you have a certain amount of time, a certain ingredient, you have to come up with it straight away. Yeah. It does help in that way. You go, oh, I didn't think blue cheese and chocolate would go together. Exactly. You really yeah. just need to um, sort of think outside the box if you want to wow people with something. Absolutely. So I'm just going to pop some brown sugar mm -hmm. in with the pork and caramelise it. And I've noticed you've placed the pork into the pressure cooker on a very, very low heat so it's not sizzling too much. Why exactly. do you do that? We just want to slowly render the fat down. Yeah. And you yeah. can add any oil to that. No, no oil. Fat exactly. In the, pork. in the pork belly. Cool. All right, Just, so now that this is starting to caramelise really nicely, yep. we're just going to add some of the spices. Okay. And just with that heat, it's going to release the flavour. So I've just thrown in some cinnamon, also some thyme and bay leaves as well. Beautiful combination. And what are we doing with these apples? So we're just going to dust them with a little bit of cinnamon and also a bit of sugar and then we're just going to sauté them. Alright, I can do that now? Yeah, go for it. Cinnamon and some sugar. And we've left the skin on that, which is completely fine. Yeah, it's completely fine, yeah. Alright, just mm -hmm. looking really good. Mm. That meat started to tighten up a bit, so yep. we'll add some water, pop the lid on. All of it? All of it, the whole lot. Yep. It's about two cups. Mm -hmm. Then we'll just place the lid on and let that sit aside for about 40, 45 minutes. How good is pressure cooking? 45 minutes and yeah. you've got really soft pork belly. Exactly. Love this style of cooking. Yep, yeah. yeah, it's perfect. Very hard to overcook. Yeah. So now that that's done, I'm going to get started on the caramel. Mm -hmm. So I just need sugar. some sugar. So it's about 300 grams. All right, well, I guess we'll just wait for the pork to finish cooking, caramel to start to form, and then we can see this magical dish come together. So the pork's actually done at the moment. So we've just put the caramel back onto heat. We're going to take it a little bit further and then add the cream. Mm, nice. Look at that, though. <laughs> I'm excited about that caramel, but I'm more excited about this pork belly caramel, I guess. Yeah, it's going to be delicious. OK, Jess, could you pass me the apples? Sure thing. There you go. Jeez. So that's in a separate pan. Cold pan again? Yep, cold pan, and then just whack it on the heat. It smells so good with that cinnamon. Yeah. And so now that this caramel is warming up, it's getting that nice deep yep. colour. Yep. We're just going to add the cream now. Sure, I'll pass that to you. So just some pure cream. A little bit more. We just need about one and a half cups. There you go. Perfect. Oh, this does season. It's totally normal when yep. it comes to caramel. Yep. But you'll see the sugar start to melt in and blend yep. with that cream, become really, really luscious. So we'll just keep an eye on the apples mm -hmm. as well. Just want to make sure that you don't overcook them. You still want a bit of texture. Nice, yeah. And then you can see this is starting to melt together nicely. So we're just going to add a little bit of water just to the apples. It'll help cook them through. This pork is saying, Jazzy, eat oh, me. I know, how good does it look? Should I have a taste? It has yeah, cooled down a little bit. Go on. It's so naughty to stick my hand in the pot like that. Mmm. Good? That's unbelievable. Okay. That just with a bowl of rice I know. is good. It'd be amazing. On top of waffles. Ooh, hello. <laughs> we got something very interesting. You can see that that caramel's coming together yeah. nicely. It's loose. Should I get the ice cream out ready? Yeah, do you want to get the ice cream ready? Great. All right, so the apples have browned off really nicely. Mm -hmm. It's going to season this caramel with a good pinch of salt, mm. a fair whack, and that's pretty much ready to go, that one. It's time to plate up. Waffles. And we're just using store-bought, good store -bought quality waffles. waffles. Today. I mean, if you've got a waffle maker at home, you can definitely yeah. do it yourself. Yep. Um, but the store-bought Belgian waffles are actually quite nice. We'll place that right dead set in the centre. Mm -hmm. And then we're just going to fan these apples out. They're, they've softened, but they've still got a bit of crunch to it too. They're just holding their shape, which yeah. is perfect. Caramel. Mm -hmm. We just want to drizzle that back and forth. Wow. It's time to throw some pork on it. And by all means, be very generous. Yeah, with be that generous. Candied pork. <laughs> there we are. Almost the taste of it. It's still meaty, but almost tastes like little bits of candy. Hence the yes, name of it. Definitely. It loses the strong pork flavour. Exactly. And then your signature vanilla bean ice cream. Of course, the ice cream to finish yeah. it all off. Who doesn't love vanilla bean ice cream? <laughs> Just place it on top. All right. And that is ready to go. 
All right. So a little bit of waffle, a little bit of apple. apple. And it's piping hot, so mm -hmm. that delicious cold ice cream on top. Yeah, we'll just bring it together. This is probably the weirdest dish I have ever tasted in my life. <laughs> I can definitely say that, mm -hmm. but it's wonderful. It feels like I shouldn't be eating this. I shouldn't be eating pork belly on waffles with ice cream, but you've done it again, Benny. Good on you. High Thank five. You so much. <laughs>